Welcome back to MSK TV. Learn math the easy way with Susanna. Two digit subtraction with borrowing, whole number subtraction for kids, basics, and tricks. Series number 14. Lessons designed for grades one, two, and three learners and beginners. Hello, dear parents, educators, young learners, and math lovers. Once again, thank you to our new subscribers. This is your channel. Are you ready for another inspiring subtraction episode? In series number 14, we're going to learn how to solve double-digit subtraction exercises with whole numbers, focusing on step-by-step -step worked solutions. What we've learned so far. Previously, in series number 13, we explored the basics of subtraction and learned that the order matters. The first number must be larger than the second. Now, we're moving ahead to subtracting two-digit whole numbers that require borrowing when the one's digit in the minuend is smaller than the one's digit in the subtrahend. Subtraction practice, double-digit whole numbers. Remember, earlier in our last series number 13, when we subtract numbers, we begin with the ones place, then move to the tens place, then the hundreds, and finally the thousands, if they exist. Now, we will apply the same method. Example number one. Let's solve 53 minus 17. Step one, look at the ones place. In 53, we have three ones. In 17, we have seven ones. Can we subtract seven from three? No, three is smaller than seven, so we need to borrow from the tens place. Step two, borrow from the tens. The tens digit in 53 is five. We take one 10 from it, leaving four tens, and add 10 ones to the ones place. Now, the ones place becomes 13 instead of three. Step three, subtract the ones. 13 minus seven equals six. Six goes to the ones place of the answer. Step four, subtract the tens. Now, in the tens place, we have four tens after borrowing from 53. We subtract one 10 from the four tens. Four minus one equals three. So three goes to the tens place of the answer. Step five, write the final answer. 53 minus 17 equals 36. Example number two, let's solve 32 minus 19. Step one, look at the ones place. In 32, we have two ones. In 19, we have nine ones. Can we subtract nine from two? No, two is smaller than nine. So we need to borrow from the tens place. Step two, borrow from the tens. The tens digit in 32 is three. We take one 10 from it, leaving two tens and add 10 ones to the ones place. Now, the ones place becomes 12 instead of two. Step three, subtract the ones. 12 minus nine equals three. So three goes to the ones place of the answer. Step four, subtract the tens. Now in the tens place, we have two tens after borrowing one 10 from 32. Two minus one equals one. So one goes to the tens place of the answer. Step five, write the final answer. 32 minus 19 equals 13. Subtraction practice. Now let's try a short quiz. Question one, what is 42 minus 15 equals? Is it option A, 27, option B, 25, option C, 28, or option D, 26? Think carefully and choose the correct answer A, B, C, or D. Good, the correct answer is option A, 27. Question two, what is 80 minus 25 equals is? Is it option A, 55, option B, 56, option C, 54, or option D, 57? Think carefully and choose the correct answer A, B, C, or D. Good, the correct answer is option A, 55. Homework time. Solve these subtraction problems. First question, what is 43 minus 37? Second question, what is 54 minus 38? Third question, 
What is 61 minus 29? Great work. See you next time in series number 15, only on MSK TV. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your parents, teachers, and friends. Your support helps us create more fun and advanced math lessons.